So recently I got a comment on my channel that gave me an idea. This comment was about a better way than converting your footage to Rec. 709. I already knew this way, but I still decided to go the standard way. But now I'm thinking about my decision again. But before I show you the comment and the better way, we're gonna talk about the problem with Rec. 709. The problem with Rec. 709, at least with Rec. 709 Gamma, is that sometimes there's not enough contrast. So what did I do to fix this problem? So normally I did an S-curve to get the contrast levels I wanted, but there's actually an easier way that works with almost every type of footage, for example with Sony S-Log and even iPhone footage, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So now I'm in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see I've got some footage here. For example that's iPhone footage and this is Sony S-Log footage. By the way this is shot with my custom S-Log profile, you should check it out. So I think we will start with this iPhone shot. For that we go to the color tab and with optional Alt S you make a new node. Go to the effects tab and add color space transform. And this was shot with the HDR function on, on iPhone. So the input color space is gonna be Rec 2020. And input gamma is gonna be Rec 2100 HLG. Output color space is of course Rec 709. And normally output gamma would be Rec 709 too. But as you can see there's not that much contrast and it looks pretty bright in my opinion. So we're gonna change the output gamma to Rec 709A. And now the contrast levels are way better than before. The overall image has way more contrast than just with Rec. 709. And now with Command or Control C we can copy this grade. And with Command or Control V we gotta paste this color grading. And now so that we can just see the difference we gotta change the output gamma back to the normal Rec. 709. And that in my opinion that's pretty bright and doesn't look that good. So we gotta change it back to Rec. 709A and that looks way better. And I can do the same with all the other iPhone clips. This was shot on the Sony ZV-10 with my custom S-Log profile. So we gotta make a new node, add color space transform again. This was shot with the Rec. 709 color space, so that's gon not gonna change. Input gamma is gonna be Sony S-Log 2. Output color space is gonna be Rec. 709 again. And first we change the output gamma to Rec. 709 and there is not a lot of contrast. But now we change the Rec. 709A again. And there's more contrast than before. So I gotta copy this grade again and paste it on all the other Sony clips. And that looks way better in my opinion than just the normal Rec. 709. And now I'm gonna show you some comparison footage so that you see the difference between the normal Rec. 709 and Rec. 709A next to each other so that you can really see the difference. Otherwise that's it with this video. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.